So I thought I'd make uh, an update video on the main, the latest city I made on SketchUp, the city V5, because it has in fact been nearly a year since I made it now, and there have been quite a lot of changes that I've made since I made the uh, the speed build videos last year, and like you can see the changes I made on the 3D warehouse, but none of them have been explained, and there's all sorts of different things I've covered, so I thought I may as well um, show the city around and show what changes I've made pretty much. So as you can see, it's slightly different from the videos that I made last year, just by looking at it. Um, I'm wondering if I should, if I turn off shadows it makes the frame rate a bit better, but I think my recording's capped at 30, so I'm probably just going to keep the shadows on. Um, I mean this is viewing the city with shadows and fog because it definitely makes it look a lot nicer and it has the uh, sort of more realistic effect of the uh, distance. I'm, objects in the distance are just covered up by atmosphere and fog and stuff like that so um, as you can see the city's pretty damn big. I think it's something like nine or ten square kilometers now in terms of actual total area. Obviously some bits are more dense than others. You can actually see the main the main built up area I did. I did like I mean the whole map is the whole city is split into really big square grids which you can kind of see on each road. I mean I think there's 64 of them or something pretty much and the middle 16 are actually you can tell the middle 16 are like much more dense buildings and built up sort of office buildings and hotels and stuff like that um, and then on the outside of all of that it kind of goes to residential and low density housing and stuff like that so I kind of structured it trying to be a bit more realistic um, but the main changes I've made since last year I'm actually going to turn off fog for a sec uh, so you can see the whole thing without fog it does not look nearly as nice um, I changed the base to a circle because I thought it was just it made a bit more sense for it to be a, a big circle rather than a big square because it meant you're sort of an equal distance away from the edge no matter where you looked out from if you're in the center of the city um, and by changing it to a circle I also made it larger because it used to be a square that went say from this corner down to this corner and I just have to do a bit of math to actually figure out how to extend it perfectly while keeping it extruded like this. Um, then I extended all the roads that left the city, added some more, and then added a whole load of extra roads on the edge of the city, which are a lot more spaced out and stuff like this. Like there's another town, or a tiny little town, if you can even call it a town. Extended these roads, added warehouses. Warehouses were like a big part of what um, makes up like the edges of cities and stuff like that so I thought I'd add quite a few of them plus they, uh, they're good for occupying large spaces and kind of just building up the size of the city I think and obviously I added loads more housing which hasn't been finished yet because I've been busy and lazy so there's loads of unextruded houses which I need to extrude up but all the, um, all the regular buildings I've added I've done I mean, this city is probably never going to be finished. My plan is pretty much to fill up the entire circle. Um, so I'll probably keep working on it for a while. I mean, the reason I have kind of been so slow on it, I've made updates on the warehouse, but as for videos, I've just, when you, when you spend so long making a city like this for the uh, YouTube videos I did, you know, something close to 30 hours of like solid, full work you kind of get a bit sick of SketchUp so that's why I kind of only did cities every year so I did one in 2013 and then 2014 and then last year 2015 um, and then after that you just kind of need a break so I I did small updates every few weeks I guess but um, other than that I mean I, I'm, I'm gonna make more videos this summer but I did need a break and that's why I haven't done many SketchUp or any SketchUp videos because I needed a break and 
I've also been incredibly busy, so it's just that's just how it's been. So, but I have been adding a lot more detail. Not only have I been extending the road layouts and stuff like that, and adding the extra buildings, but I've just been adding more textures to all these buildings. I've been adding, or well, I've been erasing um, certain lines and stuff like that. I've been erasing um, what's called soft erasing. So if you hold shift, I think, and erase lines, it gets rid of the uh, the black sort of pen line that separates them. And it's quite useful for some things. So like um, the edges of the entire map, I soft erase. So there's no like black lines going around it kind of just makes it blend in more so you can see there no black lines there are some points of interest i think i could show on here um because i wanted to give an, a sense of scale beyond just the uh the textures i mean the textures should give you scale but they're really sort of low detail um and repetitive and stuff like that this is a really long avenue damn um so over here, for example, I did a pretty basic, but more detailed than anything else, a pretty basic house, like a bungalow thing, and it's got like a backyard and windows, even like a tiny bathroom window there or something like that, which goes into its garden. And that really sort of gives a sense of scale on the uh, enormity of the whole city, really. And it's all in this sort of suburban area, which is quite nice. Um, this is an example of things that need working on. So, for example, I could soft erase these lines. Well, actually, I can just erase these lines completely. Um, my eraser tool is unbelievably slow. Any extruding or erasing in this is so slow. It's pretty ridiculous. Plus, it also um, removes the shadows when I move the mouse. And it can often, it can of often send the textures to like basic one color versions of themselves. So, I usually avoid extruding if I can, but things like these, like the little side doors, they all need extruding to like a, what's that, three meters high. And that creates like a little side entrance to the house, which it needs doing, and there's so many houses, it's kind of an effort to do every single one, but I kind of plod through it slowly. So that's just another thing that needs doing. I found another point of interest. I added a tiny little canal here. I just thought it kind of, fitted well with this sort of area of the city having like a sort of classy housing area and there's even like a canal bridge and it looks like the water goes all the way through but it doesn't actually it's just a, uh, a texture through there but it kind of I think it adds a nice touch of color I tried to keep the city pr city pretty colorful but not unrealistically colorful you know I mean most of the textures are specific city textures but the ones that aren't I kind of kept you know, to, to heart with a real city. Um, another thing is that the, the city's getting so big now, like when you have large SketchUp objects, you can't actually zoom in that far, which is getting really annoying. So like if I wanna, oh shit, if I wanna go in somewhere close, like to this, this guy in his car down here in the city center, or this girl, you can only zoom in about this far and then you start to collide with objects. And it's just really annoying. Um, because I can't appreciate as much detail as I want. Like if I want it to be at eye height, I can't actually be at eye height without some collision there, as you can see. A uh, way to get rid of it is to turn field of view down, but I don't want to because I think I'm on 60 now. I can check field of view. 55, so yeah, it's not even that bad. Um, it's, just, uh, it's just a lot nicer and it makes the city look even bigger. As you can see, the shadows are already disappearing when I orbit because it is a large file with a lot of uh, polygons and it kind of struggles to load it all. But um, shadows definitely make it look nicer. Um, other things I've done, I have added details to the petrol station, which is down here. Do -do -do. I added some shop windows, a car, a dude, and just some color and garages. Which weren't there before in these massive car parking spaces i guess they could be for trucks but um i just wanted to dot little bits of detail here and there i always like this bit it's a little i mean i drew this during when i made the actual city in the videos but i just like this little area here 
nice unique housing. Um, added some pools here. One thing I actually did, which is uh, kind of cool, I guess, is in the top of the main, the tallest skyscraper. If you go inside it, I added a uh, a window in here just to kind of, or two windows, just to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like to uh, look outside of the city. Um, and it does look kind of cool, being able to see things in the distance, but only so well. Uh, so that's kind of cool, and it is pretty high up, to be honest. Um, as for things on the edge of the city, the warehouse is all done in clusters. So there's a cluster here, and they all take kind of different shapes and sizes. So they're all they're all massive, but you know this one has a pretty unique roof, which I quite like. I mean, a lot of warehouses have this sort of look. Um, and then over here, it's pretty much pure warehousing and some sort of mid-density housing that's all like uh, terraced. There's no particular sort of style of architecture in mind, like what country, but it's probably American, I think. Uh, but it's not really decided. And then I extended the main highway and I had a little exit ramp into this warehouse area. And then some tiny little sort of detached areas of town, which I might I might fill in, you know, I might just um, extend these low density roads out even more so because I don't like how it just ends like that, like a right angle, but um, this is another place where the softer razor comes in useful. You can kind of have these different textured areas, but it doesn't look like you've just drawn it for the sake of drawing it. There's little patches of different shades of concrete. Um, here's a sort of off ramp on the highway again that to like a, a warehouse, petrol station, sort of industrial area, and um, this little area of town as well, which is connected between two roads that leave the city and then this is the, probably the largest bit I've extended because it's it's almost brand new um, in terms of size and I've, I want a sort of gradual increase or less con the inside of the city is going to be patched mostly with concrete even in bits where there's no buildings and then once I get out I'll patch it more and more with grass and greenery so as you can see almost all of this is sort of concrete little parks here and there and then out here it'll probably be a lot more green just to try and get that more re realistic gradual change in scenery as you leave the city so I think that's probably it for uh, this video really I just wanted to kind of give you a tour of the city if you can't or haven't downloaded it yourself and show you what updates I've made in detail um, I think I'll have to upload a new version of this to the warehouse um, as you can see, there are some changes and it, it, it's just a bit more functional and more detailed and I quite like it like this. Um, so yeah, as for new videos, I was thinking of maybe doing... A lot of people have been requesting I do tutorials and just the basics of how I make the cities and stuff like that, so I think I'll do a video on that. Um, and potentially more SketchUp tutorials or a continuation of updating the city, so um, yeah, that's... That's it for this video, so thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later.